right to right. <clears throat> Hello guys, uh, welcome back again and today one more video. Uh, pessoal, boa tarde. Uh, e cá estamos nós com mais um vídeo hoje. Uh, e lá vamos nós começar. Hoje aqui com a pintura uh, deste Edson. Uh, na escala 1.35. Uh, e vamos utilizar uh, tintas uh, da capa. Ok? Com os seus primários. Uh, guys, sorry. A little Portuguese for my Portuguese friends. And as I said before, uh, today I'm going to paint this etzer. Uh, this is a 38 tons, I think. Uh, yes, and it's going to be with um, AK uh, paints, all right? So the primer and all the stuff for this. On this, I just have just this. Uh, these tools, not uh, not the rest. The rest I'm going to paint uh, later, and it's going to be uh, with this set too. Okay, this is a nice set for painting the tools. On this kit, this kit is from Academy. Uh, it's an old from Academy. Uh, it brings two figures here, uh, but I'm not going to put that figures that. I'm going to use figures from my brand. Uh, I got here some German figures. Let me, whoops, oh, no, like this. <laughs> uh, I got this one, and I got two different officers. I don't know why, what, or what the, I'm going to use. Maybe this one, or this one. I like a lot of this one, let me put it like this and let me see if you guys can see, he have a cigarette on his hand okay, the head is right here so maybe I'm going to put this one um, smoking and I'm going to this on the side of the tank and this on the top of the tank uh, <coughs> seeing what's going to but it's going to be for a diorama and that's it, the things I'm going to put later so this one I'm, I'm going to do all, all the work, all the paint work, all the weathering, uh, the painting the fig figures, making the diorama all uh, on live here on Facebook and you can see the progress, what I do here on Facebook then I put on YouTube with nice quality, you can see it always on the other day on YouTube and of course if you have any questions just ask me no problems so today I start earlier because I am going to make um, the clinic here on my store where I receive my customers and they ask me questions about uh, uh, the problems they have on modeling and I try to help okay so uh, it's, today is just going to be to 6 o'clock right so it's going to be today more easier uh, yesterday, I, for the guys that don't see, I start painting uh, this angel. It's from Eugene Figures, right? I got these two for sale here on my store, and uh, this is I'm going to do on live too. So at this time, it's this angel, this tank, and another figure. I'm going to start painting where it is. Oops this one it's going to be for my series of beasts and monsters right so this is the, the topic i am doing uh, at the exhibitions on spain so at, at spain you can see me painting this kind of figures uh, <clears throat> on all the exhibitions right so I mean, let's talk and let's start working with this so let me grab here what I'm going to use the thinner of course and then let's go to let me, just a second whoop uh, yep and yes so primers guys so we have this plastic color this yellow color uh, this is going to be a, a, a schematic of three colors for the camouflage but uh, normally the people say, so what about the primer uh, to use? Um, 
if you are going to solid colors all right if you are going to solid colors it's no no much trouble if you are going to use a white primer a gray primer or a black primer or even if you want to make some chipping okay you can reuse like this one rust color and then you make the chipping uh, with the product for making that but I'm going to do uh, a different thing okay I, I always like to do um, the black and white technique so I'm going to give uh, black all over my tank and then I'm going to grab on the primer white and start making uh, the highlights on the tank okay because when you are I'm going to paint uh, I paint with the colors very light and then we can see through the, the the colors you can see the work we have on the bottom and for the camouflage I'm going to use uh, this stuff it's plastic putty okay it's really awesome for making the camouflage so you are going to see how I use so for the first time I'm going to put the primer black and for that normally and as you can see I have the the tracks glued on the tank I like to work like this okay I feel comfortable I know there are guys like to have the tracks out and the, and the wheels but I like to work like this so when I start painting I put always the tank on uh, for this way because when I start painting with the primer to see if everything okay or not it's better to to, to, to be on the bottom and you can see it's uh, good or not but for this I'm going to use just the mix of the thinner and the primer on the 50 50 uh, <coughs> percentage of this so let me just my airbrush right here I'm going to use my AK uh, this, this is the basic line it's a 0 3 point needle and it's enough for what I use so let's shake a little the the primer and we are going to see guys okay I put 20 drops of black okay and now I'm going to put 20 of the thinner okay I'm used of making this mixture so normally I do this by eye okay uh, but for you guys are not experienced on this the bo these bottles with tea drop it's very nice for and we have a nice control of our mix so I'm just missing it you can see I mix here on the the cup of the airbrush uh, I can do on on a thing like this but you uh, we lose a, a very amount of uh, paint and this way it's for me it's better hola Chisco como estas bien David buenas tardes hombre so let's start putting the primer all over the tank. So don't try to paint the tank. <laughs> in one passage guys this is the worst mistake you, you can do you don't want to have the paint go everywhere and sometimes it's not good for that so light coat use air dryer And you can see I have this turntable. This turntable is fantastic because I can move the tank 
and I don't paint always in, in the same spot. Because of that I don't have any accumulation of the the, the paint or, or, or the, the primer. So for the acrylics paints you can use the air dryer. The air dryer saves you lots of time. When you are losing the shine, it's telling you it's start to dry. Okay. You see it, I'm always moving. This guy. Whoops. Hello, Mozek. Hmm, one problem. Tell me. So I'm going to make more of this mix. So now I am doing by eye because I know the consistency. Oh, hola! I'm going to check. I'm going to check, my friends. Don't worry. Just me this, okay, and I will grab just one thing. I'm going to grab my my glasses. I need my glasses. Where well, I put the glasses? Always, always. Go again, okay. Yes, I know, I saw it. And once again, my friend Octavio made it, okay. I know, they are changed. 
the sprocket, it's on, on the front, all right, I know. <laughs> I must check this. This is a business I have with a, with a friend. He normally makes my... He assembles some of my, my models for I use on the videos and the demos. And sometimes he make this make some shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes. You are right. You are right my friends. But it, what is done it's done so I don't worry too much about it. So this is just to make a difference. My friend Octavius, it's always the, the same guy. Yeah, uh, one time on the T-34, he put on the turret, the top of the turret, he, he changed it. It's so the, the down, it's on up, it's not right, okay. But what can I do? So now I'm not going to to remove and correct, so I just want to make uh, this model like this for showing guys the painting techniques, the weathering techniques, okay. How is it this this is? You always do this on the club, and this you have always beers with him, and <laughs> they make these kind of things. <laughs> Don't worry. This is just for making the demonstration how I do the things on this. <laughs> yes, more vodka. <laughs> we got we got uh, uh, a drink here very similar. It's uh, aguardente in Portuguese, uh, and he drinks a lot. I know, I know, I know. I, I got the bottle. Yes, I got the bottle. I'm going to show you the bottle. Just a little. Here it is. This is the the fault of this kind of works by Otavio. This is saliva from Zeus. Saliva from Zeus, okay? This is a very strong, it's, it's a, a drink we have here on my club. And this can turn the people's heads. <laughs> it's very similar to vodka. <laughs> okay, so let's go. <clears throat> so the first coat on the top, okay? What I want you with the black primer, it's just not uh, to put primer, it's to, to make the first shadows, okay? Um, when you guys uh, ask to me why I paint uh, the tanks with the wheels and the tracks, the, the black primer, normally it's going to make my shadows on the tank. In Poland we call Bimber, alright Bimber! I got here a, a, a member from my club, his wife is from Poland, yes, and we drink, uh, we drink uh, drinks from Poland too, because my friend brings from Poland and it is very nice, really, really nice. And on this summer, I'm I'm going there on Poland uh, to make a demonstration for a one uh, for a, a club you have there on Poland. I'm just seeing the dates because uh, normally on every exhibition in Spain I am I I go so it's not easy to go somewhere else. But this year I'm going to Poland.
Okay, and that's enough with the primer, the black primer. So I got here my elixir for for cleaning my brush. So let's open this where I put the pipettes. Okay, right here. Oops, oopsie daisy. And let's clean the airbrush. Saliva from Zeus can be used like a turner too. <laughs> the man it's, is talking about uh, saliva from Zeus can be used as a thinner. That is the guy who brings. That is the the the. The guy to, to blame, okay, of this kind of things that happen here on the club because he's the, the main handler of this. <laughs> okay, so I use that now. Just one thing uh, aside uh, I use this, this, I am not trying to sell you nothing, guys. I use this the perfect cleaner, so I use my my cleaner that, that I made. But normally, when I clean, I just put two about two three drops of this and push and flush because it helps a lot. Um, you have like kind of um, lubrication and helps a lot for the paint not to glue on the um, to dry on, on the point of the needle. This is very good, so I always do that, and it helps a lot. So, now I have this old black. Let's use the dryer. And you can see I, I do not go very crazy with the with the black. Okay, some areas uh, miss it something, but it's not a problem. Okay, I want this to be the first thing where the paint is going to grab, and of course to make the shadows. Now I'm going to use the white. Okay, with a little thinner, of course, uh, but to make the first highlights, then I paint the colors very very uh, thin okay because I want to be more transparent to make this uh, to see the, the work I do but, but I'm going to show you it's much easier so and I have six drops of the white you don't need too much okay don't be don't be crazy with the thinner okay because if you put too much of the thinner it's going uh, to make splashes so the ratio it's about 50 50 percent too well, let's mix this and let's start doing the eye the first highlights on this I like to do that, then I do that, then I use the oils to start fading uh, the colors of the camouflage, but it's the way I do, okay? So, of course, it's very easy if you have a lamp, a kind of like this, you just put on the top and you can see uh, where it's more bright. So where it's much more bright, you go with the primer, okay? You see like this. With extension like this, okay. You see, I have this part right, this round part. I go a little more here on the front, too, and just like this, okay. This is going to, to help a lot, and this is a very nice exercise for uh, you learn how to control better. Um, your airbrush, okay, the flow of your airbrush. 
because normally you have a fray to make the camouflage freehand. I'm going to use this just to show you guys because normally I do my all my my camouflage freehand and this helps a lot you to control. You can see this uh, this part here. I'm going with the brush, okay, with the airbrush and make that draw. It helps a lot to, to start see the details and when I paint I know where I want to be more bright or not more bright so here on the top of this edge right here the fenders okay here on the front Here on the side too, I'm go I have two sides to make. It's this one, this bottom, and this part on the top too. This on this way, I put the airbrush like this way to push the air like this. Okay. So Samaris have a lot, okay, but it's no problem. Let's show again. Like this, and make the natural effect here more of the sound of the, the light and then fade it. And now again here. The same thing. So doing this with the primer. It's more complicated because yes, it is more strong than the paint. The paint has the pigment more more thin. So when I do this I don't stop because it's the way it's not going to be dry on the top of the needle. On the on the needle. You see, just linear. Yet, if I wipe here the pins, okay, no problem. So, on this, we need to start work more fast. So, normally, it's not when we are at home doing our things. Here on the back, too. You see, on the top, like this, it makes this one very, very easy. Now I go here on the wheels, too. On the center. Okay, nice, nice. Just go a little around on the top. Okay, okay, let's see. Now I got here the edges. Okay, they are open, so I go to the middle.
and try to make this appearance of something faded. And it's good with the white. So now I'm going to, to clean the airbrush. Let's put here a little of my cleaner and start cleaning. Okay, I'm out of the camera, of course. But I need to clean my airbrush. This is not the fun part. Hola, George. Hola. Tudo bem? Okay, nice. Now, one, two, three drops. And I'm going to clean this one. Okay, let me move here the cap. I'm going to work without the cap right now. And I go with the first color. So, the colors I got here. It's three colors for this scheme. So this set brings only three colors for this. Uh, normally they have a, a pattern of the, the schematic of, of the camouflage right here but I'm not going to worry about that schematic I'm going to do this on my my ideas so it's not going to be accuracy so it's going to be the way I, I feel comfortable to do and just to show you guys Hello Walter, how are you my friend? So just a little drink All right, so we got here three colors. We got the Dunkel Kelp, uh, we got the Rotten Brown, and we got the Olive Grun. Okay, all these names is, is, is in German. And um, normally we got, so let me show you guys the colors you can see on the back of the camera. Let's put on the lights, you can see. We got a brighter. A middle tone and a dark tone so I'm going to start with this one and very 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 bright so I'm going to make this about 75% of thinner and 25% of the color okay I don't want to put all the color in the first hand so this one this kind of color, the Dunkel Kelp, you need to shake it very well because the pigments are very, 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 very strong. And sometimes it's not too easy. But one of the tricks you see uh, how the paint is uh, thin or thick, okay, it's a very simple trick. When you grab on your airbrush and you make this you, you see if you need to squeeze the bottle or not. Okay, I put here five drops. Okay, ten drops of the color. So of the Dunkel Gelb. Normally it's the base for this. Buenas Mauricio. And I put 25 drops of the tin guys. So I want this color to be transparent. I'll mix all this very, very, very well. 
And remember, when you are using one brand of paints, uh, they are not always the same thickness. Um, okay, you have paints that are more liquid and more thick, so you need to make your tests before to see how it's going to, to go. So, what I do, let's flip this one and start on the bottom. Now we can see how the paints going out of the, the airbrush and if it's good or not. And one of the things that's very important when we are using the airbrushes, uh, this one it's a 03 point needle. And normally I use my Infinity, and with my Infinity airbrush, I use the 04 needle. And for me, it's almost like the 03 needle of, of this one. But if you are using a 02 point needle, you need to thin more the paint and of course instead of making three or four layers you need to make more two more or three more sometimes okay to have a nice painting work okay it's very important to thin more if you have a needle because there are lots of people buying airbrushes and they came just only with the zero two and with the mix is 50 50 50 percent it's not easy to come out of a zero two point needle so you need to thin more the paint okay you thin more uh, it's more transparent okay but you go again with more one or two or three layers the layers you need to coverage all your model or to to reach your purpose purpose okay so let's go and as you can see it's a very bright color, very pigment color and it's very transparent you can see here how it's mixed with the black you start having the first uh, shadows, ok, it's very easy and like I always say, don't try to make all in one way, okay? Just go more than one. The acrylic paints are very different than the normal like Tamiya or the lacquer paints, okay? You need to have more layers and on the lacquers and the alcohol bases they are very different. You sometimes just need uh, two layers and it's good. On this one you must build layers of, on the top of the layers to have a nice coverage model, okay? And with acrylics we can use the air dryer to speed up the process and believe it, with the thin layers uh, I do, I don't have any, any, any problems with the, the, the time of the, um, this, the, to paint to dry, okay, it's very easy. But it's up to you. I experimented lots and lots of, of, of paints. Okay, this come out. No, no problem. A little later. Now let's give color on the top too. Yeah. Point. You see it's coming out grainy, okay, with lots of grain, because I removed the cap, 
and this is um, the thing I want because I want this to have texture. If I put the cap of the of the airbrush, it's going to be more direct and it's going to be more flat. Um, but in this way, it gives me a, a little texture on the paint. It's what I am searching to do on my model. Now I'm going to use the paint to start making the first highlights with this Dunkel Gel. So in some areas I put more of the color. Like I do with the, the white primer. Just a mist there. This part I'm going to paint with uh, off-white because this part is going to be different. But at this time no problem. You're on top more bright here more bright too and on the top of the gun barrel this part here Little more the side too and when I start painting with the colors I will be back again with my Dunkel Gel because I want to go and correct some areas, to put more light let's go to the side And don't have afraid to to dirt your hands. Okay, it's part of the job. And it's good. Let me see. Just here, I need just to put a little more there. And you can see with just only ten drops. We almost, almost paint all. Now I'm just making a little more of the mix. And we more. Now I have a more concentrated color. And believe the first coat you have it's very ugly, okay? I'm going to 
here on the front. Yep, the first coat it's nice. Be careful with the photo edge part because you don't want to, to have paint stick it there on, on the walls. Right? It's not good. A little more on the wheels, I need more light on the wheels. And I do on the center, you see. Yeah. They are changed. Octavius! You don't drink anymore. Okay, with this uh, kind of without the cap, I have now texture. Okay, it's really nice. No, no, this new AK paints really works better. Um, my friends, I I work with Vallejo before, then I work with Emo Paints, and then I I'm working with AK. And let me say. Um, the three generation, the three new, the new are fantastic, very very nice. Normally they they don't stick here on on the point of the needles. They are really really nice, okay. But of, of course there are no. What what can I tell you? Um, they make AK made the, the first paint acrylics and they are similar with uh, Amo and Vallejo. But this, this now it's much better. Believe it or not, it's they are much better, and I am very happy to to paint it with that. Um, it's good for airbrush and it's awesome for figures. For figures, it's really awesome. Okay, to paint with uh, a brush, it's they are fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> At this point, from Abel, uh, I think yes. At this point, I think they are better than the aim. The the ammo, the ammo, the figure uh, paints for the paint for figures. Uh, they are really good too because they are more more thick. Okay, they are not very thin. The ammo paints uh, acrylics they are a little thin. Okay, so for me, I'm sorry for my friends from ammo, uh, but I prefer AK. Okay. It's not because I'm working with AK, but they are at the at the moment they are really much better. So sorry, my friends. <laughs> but normally, when my customers here on the store ask me these things, I always say. But sometimes, okay, sometimes they are guys are working with Vallejo, with Tenia, with Amo a lot of time and. You need to um, to give time when you change when you change from uh, one brand to another brand. They are they really are very different on the paints. Olá Miguel, tudo bem? Grande abraço. So yes, at the moment for me, I really like more AK. Okay, if another brand makes and paints better, I am going to say yes, that that brand is better. But this point, I cannot lie, and I don't, I don't like to lie. And I am very uh, critic with the uh, yes, I am very critic with the brands I work. And sometimes uh, I, I I just do with AK, I, I do with Amo. When I see there is a product, it's not so good. I tell you, I tell always to the guys and say, "This is not so good, guys. You must change this or or, or that for make better." Okay, so I I make the critics for better, not to to put down the, the brands. Okay, the it's normal for we to make mistakes and the brands make the mistakes. So don't 
tell bad things from a brand because they have a product it's not so good. If you say to the brands it's not so good and there are lots of people telling that and they don't change, okay, that, that is a different problem and they must put the end, uh, ah, the end on the head and think what they are doing wrong and then try to change, okay? Okay, not the fun part, cleaning the, the airbrush. All right, we are running out of time because I need to go to the store uh, because I'm going to have people waiting uh, for I to um, to teach some of tricks and some problems they have. So today video is just one hour, but I am going to continue doing this for you guys. Okay, don't worry, you are going to see me doing this don't worry I'm not going to make anything more on the tank and I want you guys to see I will put this on YouTube and you, on, you can see this on YouTube with much better quality today I changed the angle of the camera uh, I think it's better but I am waiting uh, for cam um, one support for the camera it's going to be up uh, above my shoulder and give you more, a very more um, angle for you guys to see, okay? So, primer, white for the shadows, and you can see, let me try to go, oh, not this way, this way, oh, too much, okay, this is good. You can see the changes of the light, okay? This is when I when we do work with uh, art, okay, this is like a sketch at the moment. So this, the project at the moment, it's a, a sketch. So uh, when I'm going to start using the other colors from the camouflage, it's going to start different. And then I will come again with the Dunkel Gel to start uh, building and correcting all the mistakes I do okay with uh, the colors from the, the camouflage all right so guys uh, tomorrow uh, we'll back again uh, it's going to be around six uh, six seven o'clock I will post again like I do today and you can not miss tomorrow I'm not going to do the tank all right uh, what uh, oh, 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 more okay tomorrow uh, tomorrow I'm going to continue working on my angel okay because I want you guys to see all the different so these paintings I am doing here on the figures it's speed paintings okay uh, the, the the difference from a really nice painting work it's when you are doing a very very nice and um, normally when I do a really nice thing I need about one month to make this but on this I try to make this in about uh, six, seven hours, okay? Uh, the guys who, see, who saw me on Spain uh, two, two weeks, yeah, yeah, two weeks ago on Malaga, uh, they say me painting a, a very big, a very big monster, and I do that in the two days I, uh, I was there, and I paint that uh, around six, uh, six hours, so this is the what I uh, said about um, speed painting okay I don't worry too much with uh, some details because I just to reach to the people who want to start painting uh, figures and models okay so this speed paintings it's for you guys to see normally when I do the weathering on the, the tank for a demonstration or for uh, videos I make it more quick and you guys to see um, the tricks, right? Because if I lose time making all the things correctly, guys, it's going to be uh, a series, like a television series, okay? It's lots and lots of hours, okay? So, um, 
that's it's going to be tomorrow the angel and on Friday I will be back again with Etzer okay so thank you guys very much for uh, for your time doing uh, here <laughs> as well as I mean um, so I'm going back again uh, tomorrow and we talk uh, better uh, I hope um, yesterday I response to everyone who makes the, the questions if I if I um, I don't answer to anyone so just send again the message and no problem I will answer ok so thank you very much guys and see you tomorrow pessoal muito obrigado uh, e vemos amanhã por volta das 6 7 horas ok pois já acabou já já Jorge já acabou pois tem que ser porque agora tem que ir para a loja fazer e clínica ok então vá até amanhã pessoal e muito obrigado mais uma vez por estarem aqui comigo.